Hello Pisces, this is your reading for the 11th through the 12th. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. I hope everybody is doing well today. Let's see, what's going on with my Pisces? I'm just going to pull three cards for you guys from the Romance Angels. Oh, okay. I'm going to get those out. Codependency. Oh, it's three right there. All right. Codependency, playfulness, and make the effort. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. And to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine and make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how these messages are going to tie in to your reading. Let's see. What messages do we have for Pisces today? Pisces. Two of Cups. Soulmate relationship here. Cancer energy. There's, these are mutual feelings shared between um, you and someone else here for sure. Okay. And then the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like one of you was way more supportive, um, probably took a lot of responsibility for the relationship, made more money, but whoever this is that, you know, took on the responsibility, I feel like this person didn't complain about it. I'm feeling like that's you. Then we have a King of Swords there. Very stern, I feel, person. Air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like this person probably um, was very unforgiving. If you did something, I'm talking about the slightest thing here. Um, then they would hold your feet to the fire for it. Okay? That type of person, very unforgiving um, when it comes to them feeling offended. But if they offend you, it's like, how dare you say that I offended you? That kind of person, okay? Okay, so let's see what that is. I don't know how it spun out, but we're going to look at it as an upright three of wands energy there. I'm feeling like this is more of this other individual that needs to make an effort, that needs to come forward. Um, you guys already feel like this is your soulmate. And I feel like you are definitely waiting on this individual. You're waiting on them to, you know, show you how they really feel. Tell you how they really feel, even. Okay. I'm feeling you waiting. But I do feel like there is some codependency in this relationship for sure. I feel like this person depends on you emotionally. They're not willing to give a lot of emotion. But it's almost like an emotional vampire. Just sucking the life out of you. Because you are so willing and eager to give to, to people that you love. Um, and I feel like you are ever so willing to give it because it's what happens um, with a lot of Pisces naturally. You just give and give and give of yourself. And unfortunately, a lot of times you have people out there that just want to take. Okay. Please show me more about the Two of Cups energy here. Two of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel like you've known this person for a while and you guys have probably known each other um, since childhood. I feel like between childhood and adulthood, there's something that has changed in this individual. Okay, I feel like, you know, when you were younger or when, if this is a relationship that you rekindle with someone, 
I feel like initially when you first encountered this person, um, you guys, you know, you were giving equally to each other. Okay. But something shifted and changed to where you ended up giving too much in this situation. Okay. There's a choice to be made here, though. There's a balance to be had. There needs to be some balance in this situation because definitely um, the scale is not even. The scale is definitely not even here. Okay. Please show me more about the Queen of Pentacles energy. Then we have the Nine of Cups. Hmm. I feel like, you know, you guys, like I said, you are the one that, um, you know, you're not, you're not selfish. And I feel like you give to a lot of people. You take care of a lot of people. Um, I feel like you're happy-go-lucky. You like going out. You like being social. You like family time. You like family time here. Like being outside. Yes, you do. But I feel like you spent a lot of time by yourself. Even though you were with somebody here. Please show me more about this King of Swords energy. Seven of Swords. Hmm. There's somebody that has a wandering eye as well. This is somebody that, you know, they hurt you. Um, selfish energy here. I feel like they this person played around on you. They played around on you. And probably tried to blame you in the process, okay? Hmm. Huh. Please show me more about the Three of Wands energy. The Eight of Swords. I feel like this had you down and out. This has you down and out. This has you down and out. You know, and, and sometimes not even wanting to get out of bed. Not feeling sure of yourself. Not feeling like, you know, you'll actually have someone come into your life that treats you like you deserve to be treated. It bothers you because you really thought this person um, was the one. I feel like this is an angry individual here. And I don't think their anger has anything to do with you. I think this is, has everything to do with, um, you know, childhood issues. If this is somebody that you guys knew before, dated before, broke up with, got back together with, I feel like that initial encounter in that relationship, you know, this person didn't display a lot of the behaviors that they did when you guys reconnected. Because they were young. But they grew into these behavioral patterns, these negative behavioral patterns. So they had time to culminate. A lot of you are struggling right now. A lot of you are struggling right now. I feel like you're longing for this person. You're longing for the good times that you did have with them. But there is a need for them to actually make an effort here. I feel like they want to, but I feel like they're just so stuck in their ways. I do feel like they want to. If you guys notice, there's like a, a gap in the videos because I actually um, ended the video before I actually told you guys who was coming towards you. So let's go ahead and see who's coming towards you guys, okay? 
who's coming towards Pisces energetically? Please show me who's coming towards Pisces energetically or what energy in general is coming towards Pisces energetically. Could be your energy, could be someone else's energy here. Let's see what's coming towards Pisces energetically. We have my deck's upside down. So I'm gonna flip it back over. We have the Father of Fire. Hmm. This Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there. Could be somebody that's older than you. Then we have a double in um, reverse again. Okay, so maybe this is somebody that has um, learned their lessons. Maybe they have dealt with their codependency issues. Okay, maybe they this person is is willing to you know take action towards you guys. Whoever this is, um, Capricorn energy is there as well. But I, I'm definitely getting that somebody is addressing their fears or has addressed their fears. They no longer feel attached. Okay. Oh my gosh, temperance in reverse. Huh. Hmm. You know, this right here, let me pull the other card. Take those. I'm just going to see what's going on here. Because, you know, this person looks like whoever this is may have some actual um, addictions. M maybe alcohol addiction here. And this person actually is struggling. I feel like they're trying to deal with um, they're trying to deal with their demons basically. And then we have the lovers with the Hierophant. This person wants to be with you. This is somebody that wants to be with you. That wants balance and harmony with you. They want to get back together. They want to work things out with you. This person wants something traditional with you. I feel like as far as the struggle that you guys are going through or have been through, if you're still with this person, what you're currently going through, um, this person, they want to remain with you. This person wants to grow old with you. This person needs your help. They want your help. It's up to you if, if you want to stay there, of course. Um, because I see that, you know, a lot of your happiness comes from actually feeling like you are helping someone. That's who you are. But this person definitely has a potential to to allow their their demons to take control over them whoever this is whether they are very angry whether this person hits you um whether they are just not just because i don't want to minimize it whether they are um mentally or emotionally abusive to you whatever this codependency is that they have that you have going on with this individual they're struggling to maintain that they're struggling to not let those issues just completely take over and um, destroy this connection is what they're doing it's what they want so whether you're with this person currently or whether you guys are separated they definitely want to be with you they're struggling they're struggling They've been fighting. Um, they've been fighting their own demons. Okay? Wanting to stay together with you or either reunite with you, get back, work things out with you guys. Okay? So Taurus, um, Gemini energy, Sagittarius, again, Aries, Leo, Sag energy, Capricorn energy is here. Um, maybe Virgo. I feel Aquarius energy is here. 
uh, more than likely, you know, Gemini Aquarius energy, um, Aries, and Cancer. All right, guys. So that is what I have for you guys, and um, I'll be speaking with you soon.